Hey friends, how are you doing today? Now today I'm going to show you how you can uh, use Android Studio uh, for mobile view. Now, the thing that I would like to let you guys know here is that uh, I would like really you to learn how can you come up with Android Studio app or how can you come up with the app from Android Studio but for offline application. Now if you try to cross check I have my stuff here made using ZAMP. I think you can see the location of localhost and also if you cross check on my editor I still have my this is the application I'm trying to make here uh, if you try to cross check here right now on my windows I just made it something like this that's it so if you check it is in windows uh, it's just staying kind of long because I'm on connect on the internet but otherwise even without internet you don't need you don't need the application to run on internet so I'm just going to uh, open up here my memo uh, which is my what I always use for making up my uh, stuffs or running up my Android app offline so I'm going to disconnect my internet so that you guys will find find yourself on the same platform. We first disconnect it. Okay, fine. I think it's now disconnected. That implies if I refresh now, it is very fast. Yeah, that's great. Now the same applies, we also have our Android here application. I think now you can see it is as well, it's working as usual. As expected, I think you can see. Now I want to show you the thing, the logic behind. Now this is my source codes or my piece of codes. If you shake, this are my application. If I make any changes here, it will also be on my application, my app. If I just go here. When I change this store part of it to YouTube, and I happen to save, and I go back to my emulator, and I just go back home, I think you can see it has changed to YouTube. You get now that implies anything happened to give there to change to that. So if I shake this back to that MIT app. If I again come back here on my Android to my Android app here, uh, if I just come back again here, refresh here, just refreshment, I think you can see I've got back to that. And if I go here, it takes me to that. Now, my point is not about almost of the other functionality, my point is going to be just how to show you this. Now, to show you this, make sure you have Android Studio installed in your machine. Now, I just want to explain just mainly two to three things that uh, you have to know. One, make sure you go to app of your machine in Android. I'll app, you go to manifest, where we have this Android manifest dot XML. Double click there. You'll be having this. So, underneath there, the only thing you have to add there is that user permission Android. Uh, name Android dot permission internet. That's what you have to add there. Then to get this one your main activity, you go to Java. I mean to res. Shake that. Shake that. Where is it? The main activity. Our main activity. On the layout, have that one activity main, and then the main activity of our app is what I'm looking for at the moment. Yeah, the main activity here, just go underneath here on Java, like I've said on Java. May double click on com dot blah blah, you'll find your stuff there. Mine is called Joomla, that's what you're seeing there. They find main activity. So double click on main activity. The piece of code you have to add there is only this. Now, 
I want to explain to you two things. This one, if you want to make it offline, please find the the IP address of your machine. Like for me, mine. If I go to my CMD and I type your IP call IP config, it will generate for me my IP address, which is that. That IP address, my friend, is what I've happened to refresh here. And then this is my project folder and my stuff, my app. Fetch in my project folder, which is this from ZAMP. Then the project name is this one MIT app, which is just underneath here MIT app. MIT app. I think you can see MIT app. Where are you? It is just your app. So that's it. That's the only thing you have to do. These are the piece of code you have to add. If you want to put it online, this is the piece of code you need to do. Then here, there's no much big deal. This is just the interface. So one thing you have to do here is that if you're going to make the Android app on the mobile window, mobile mini web view, make sure you have come here, double click here, and on double clicking there, you add this piece. Just double click here. Uh, I mean. Uh, double click here uh, then here you give a name of your stuff that name we are going to use in the main activity if you check in main activity I have web one web one which web one is recalling trying to call the frame we would like where the uh, the stuff will be popped on and that's it so that's it that's on the main logic so guys if you know this video happened to help you please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching love you all